In this video, I will teach you one of the best methods to effectively remove viruses, spywares from a computer. This technique is used by seasoned technicians, and I have been using this method for a long time and was successful in removing different sorts of viruses from so many different computers. If you're a budding technician, then I would recommend you to this approach. If you simply watch this video to learn an excellent technique, then please follow along. The technique is to connect the infected hard drive as a slave or external drive to another machine that has a good antivirus software. I'll give you good reasons why it is impractical to run the antivirus on the same infected hard drive. Number one, some smart viruses are enabled in safe mode and it's impossible or hard to remove them even in safe mode. Number two, if Buddha files are infected, then most likely booting up the hard drive is intermittent or impossible. Number three, even if you use a third-party boot disk, such as the Ultimate Boot CD, but updating virus definition is compromised. Number four, user has limited control. Unlike when you connect the infected drive as a slave or external drive, then you can run not only the antivirus software, but you can also run anti-spyware, anti-malware, and you can even do maintenance, such as check for bad sectors, defrag, and all other sorts of uh, maintenance programs. Before connecting to your external drive, it is a must that you should update the virus definitions of your antivirus softwares. In my case, I'm using the free version of Microsoft Security Essentials. There's an update button there. Simply just click it and then you're good to go. Also, make sure that your test machine is free of viruses, spywares, malwares, and other threats. Secondly, you also need to disable the auto-run and auto-play features of your system. What these two auto commands do is simply execute the program without requiring user intervention. In my case here, I'm going to show you how to tweak the auto-play feature. Simply go to your control panel Usually by default, you're viewing it by category. Simply go to view by small icons and you will find autoplay link there. Click that and then this window opens up. In my case here, every time I insert a media, a CD, a DVD or others, it will simply ask me what to do. In some instances, it automatically opens the program without the user intervention. So we, we should prevent this to happen because, you know, if we insert the external drive to our system, this might open some files before we run the um, our favorite uh, antivirus program. So this is to prevent the accidentally opening the harmful files in the external drive. Uh, so that's the autoplay feature. For the auto run, I would suggest you go to Google and uh, look for how to disable the auto run functionality of your uh, Windows operating system. Because I'm short of explaining the auto run tweak to you, to you guys, as my um, operating system is Windows 7 Home Premium, so it doesn't have the GP edit or the group policy edit where you can um, disable the auto run. Okay guys, I'm going to connect the hard drive, external hard drive to my machine through the USB port. Okay, so it just detected the uh, external drive right now. And let me go there. The computer. Okay, this, this is the one. Uh, it's about 160 gigabytes and uh, it says here the device ready to use okay so once the um, the external drive is detected you can right click on it and then scan it with your uh, favorite antivirus program in my case uh, I'm using uh, Microsoft Security Essentials
this may take some time so i will post a video and i will and it found some threads let me open it okay so there's one issue and i'm going to inspect it first before i delete it okay i'm back i just deleted the trojan from the f drive or the external drive just a note guys please make sure that you restart your computer just after you delete any threats so that it gets deleted from the system's memory now if you're to ask me are we done the answer is no in fact we're just halfway i would still recommend that you run another good program called malware bytes it's a freeware and you can download from download.com filehepo.com and many other sites just google it as malware bytes download there's a paid version for this software but the free version will do just fine make sure that you update its definition before uh, running it click scan and I would always recommend that you check the system which is the C and uh, the external drive which is uh, in my case F this is not always F it could be a different uh, drive letter when you do it click scan okay guys this will take some time so I will just stop this video and I will come back for the final results malware bytes found some threats so make sure that you're familiar with those files that were affected you have now the option to quarantine or simply delete unwanted files so did you notice guys first I run the antivirus it found one trojan and now I run the malware bytes and it found some more threats so in my conclusion it is always best practice that after running your favorite antivirus software it is recommended to scan the hard drive or the infected device or files using a good anti-spyware or anti-malware program such as malware bytes please note there are some other good programs such as super anti-spyware uh, you can check it out or if you want you can connect the hard drive to another machine that has a different antivirus and see if it catches some more th threats if you ask me is it good to install another antivirus in the same antivirus in the same pc then my answer is no although you can but it's not advisable because most antivirus have real-time mode running in the backgrounds so if two of these run then one might interpret the other as a threat okay that's it guys for more details about this or some tricks and trade tips please visit my website at www.ifixiteasy.com as i have written blogs that are as good as step-by-step -step manuals thanks